Phase 1 of the Public-Private Partnership for the St. Lucia Coral Restoration Program focused on the establishment of coral nursery structures in the Soufre Marine Management Area in the Caribbean Sea where more than 2,000 fragments of elkhorn and staghorn corals are propagated and grown. Phase 2 focused on the establishment of additional nurseries training and outplanting to selected sites within the marine managed area. It was a collaborative effort between CATS and other stakeholders. This was one of the largest coral restoration initiative in St. Lucia. The CATS program operates in eight other Caribbean countries with a focus on climate change, adaptation within specific watersheds and marine managed areas. So we had an idea that a lot of people have done coral restoration, but we wanted to introduce the human element, the livelihood enhancement aspect that works towards community development, uh, utilizing um, resources such as tourism um, to actually help fund these processes. We've got about right now six, seven coral gardeners working with us that we have trained um, Five of them are open water divers that we've trained to become uh, certified divers so that they could help out with our coral nursery work. They're actually uh, enjoying the process. Not only do they enjoy the um, understanding and also the knowledge that they get from um, actually becoming coral gardeners to learn about the coral and to learn about how it grows, but also they do have a stipend that they are quite pleased with that they're receiving on a monthly basis as they help out with the coral. and. Um, the bottom line is with them, we've spoken to them and um, seeing the way that they're reacting to it. Uh, they're looking forward to seeing the future benefits of it, especially with their children, because you have uh, third generation fishermen who are involved in the coral gardeners. The coral restoration, building the reef back, and when we have reef, we'll have more fish. More, more tourists will come to enjoy our reef. The fishers will have much better catches, so everybody will benefit from the coral. Dr. Camille David is the marine expert and GIZ employee working on the CATS program who oversaw the coral restoration project in Soufre, St. Lucia. We have um, a vibrant dive tourism uh, initiative, which the corals are quite pivotal for sustaining dive tourism. Um, a lot of the corals um, across St. Lucia and the wider Caribbean suffered uh, significantly from wideband disease. But against this backdrop, um, the Coral Initiative, Restoration Initiative, was undertaken to really improve the genetic uh, stock diversity of corals. Um, for, of those that survived the wideband, the, uh, the Stagon and the Elkons were some of the most resistant to the disease. Uh, so the idea is to collect genetic stocks from different localities, grow them in a nursery, and subsequently outplant them on the existing reef uh, so that these reefs can now become more genetically diverse and you can promote sexual reproduction between corals. So against that, you're going to create more genetic diversity. So should there be any outbreaks of these kinds of diseases in the future, we have a better assurance or higher resistance from a wider genetic diversity. So this is the fundamental reason and we as an organization, as a development agency, we are providing that kind of support uh, in partnership with Clear Caribbean to get community groups mobilized to really uh, and get involved in the restoration efforts so that um, the livelihood issues, adaptation to climate change at the community level. Because as you know, corals are important nursery habitats for fish. They basically protect and dissipate a lot of wave energy, so they protect the shorelines. Uh, they contribute significantly to leisure tourism, dive tourism, which is fast growing. So they, and they provide an array of other uh, ecological services, so they, they need to be protected. And a lot of people are not, at this stage, have a very good understanding of how corals really function to create um, diverse ecological services. In fact, in summary, I can say that they are basically the rainforests of the, of the sea. Now, our partners have been very important 
this. The Sandals Foundation gave us seed money to actually start this um, project. We have actually trained um, more than 15 persons in the National Vocational Qualification at the level three. Um, this was at the request of the Department of Fisheries in St. Lucia. Um, we are now in the process of working via a public-private partnership funded in part by GIZ and Sandals Foundation uh, to actually look at a sustainable financing mechanism that would allow us to, um, to continue to pay the coral gardeners even at the end of this project. The, the main aim and the mechanism is that Sandals is one of the largest resorts in terms of bringing tourists um, to the Caribbean. They actually have a lot of divers and the idea is that if the divers can actually uh, provide a small donation in exchange for uh, planting a coral, that money goes to the foundation and that, the foundation then sends that money to continue to pay the coral gardeners. So that's where the livelihood enhancement aspect um, rolls in. Best practices from this coral restoration effort will be scaled up to benefit other countries in this region and contribute to sustainable livelihood and the general well-being to coastal communities. The GIZ CAT implemented program will continue to work with various stakeholders to improve climate change adaptation and healthy ecosystems in the region.